Let's build some awesome 3D text in Fusion. Right, so first of all, open up your effects library, open up effects and drag a new Fusion composition onto your timeline, just like so. With the playhead over the Fusion composition, let's go into the Fusion page. And in here, you see nothing but your media out node right here. Now, the next step is that we need some text, but not the regular text plus because we want to make some 3D text and we need the text 3D node that you can find over on the right side and drag this onto your node editor, just like so. And right now, if you try to connect this text 3D over to our media out, you can see that this doesn't work. So we're missing out on something. And that's with all the 3D stuff, we need a renderer 3D and this renderer 3D can be connected to the media out. We can connect the text 3D over to a renderer 3D but that doesn't work because we need a camera 3D. So let's drag a camera 3D in. And right now we need a merge node to merge this text and the camera together. But we don't need the regular merge node, we need the merge 3D. So let's drag this into our node editor and now connect the output of text 3D into the input of merge 3D and the output of camera 3D into the other input of merge 3D. Now connect the output of the merge into the input of the renderer. And right now this is what we're looking at. So let's click on our text 3D node, type in whatever text you want. Let's just go with 3D text uh, because we're creative. Um, and let's display our text 3D over at our viewer number one. So let's select the text 3D node and hit one on our keyboard. And we can see that we have our 3D text over on the left side and nothing on the right side. And we don't see anything in here because we have to move our camera back. Because if I'm gonna select my camera, you can see that the camera is like sitting at the exact same point or actually looking through our text. So what I'm gonna do to fix this is I'm gonna take the blue arrow right here and I'm gonna left click and hold and just pull this back. And if it doesn't extend far enough, hold down the control key and then use your scroll wheel to scroll out and then pull it back just a little bit more and even another bit, just like so, so that it fills our whole screen. Right now we can see the 3D text over at our second viewer, which is the media out, which means that this whole pipeline is being rendered by the renderer 3D displayed over on the media out node. And right now to give you a little bit of guidance when you wanna navigate in the 3D space, if you hold down control and use your scroll wheel, you can zoom in and out. If you just scroll in and out, you can go up and down. But if you hold the Alt key and click and drag with your mouse wheel, you can actually turn and navigate however you want in the 3D space. But now let's take a look at our 3D text sideways so now we know that it's actually not 3D because it's very flat. And we can fix that if we go to our text 3D node, go over to the right side where it says inspector and then go down to where it says extrusion. This slider here, extrusion depth, is the one that we want to increase. And if we increase this, we can see that our text increases just a little bit and right now this is our 3D text. All in all, this is the workflow if you wanna build a 3D text. And one last thing that I wanna show you is how to bring this boring text a little more to life. And instead of changing the color just like so, which again looks a little bit boring to me, we can then go to the shading tab and under the shading tab, we have the material under type changes from solid to image and then this here unfolds and then under image source you want to select clip and under color file you want to click browse and then you can select any image or clip that you want to be displayed inside of the text. Let's go for this wall image right here and then once you've done that um, whatever image that you selected is now being displayed inside of the text which can have a very cool effect. All right, that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. 
If so, please let me know in the comments down below because I was thinking about making this a little short mini series about 3D text and get a little more advanced with every video that we make. And if that's something you're interested in, please let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to hit that like button. And yeah, that's all I gotta say. Hope you're having a great day. See you in the next one. Bye.